no longer into the year's third major. Phil Mickelson took to Twitter to call out the USGA and defend his fellow live golfer. This does not help the US Open in any way, but does help collude with the tour. The head of the USGA, Mike Wan, was asked about this by Golf Channel, and he said basically he's not worried about not having the best players in the world in the US Open, that Gooch can try to qualify like anyone else, and that he actually hopes Gooch plays well enough in the PGA Championship, so he moves up in the world rankings and gets in that way. He also said, and I quote, we're not going to change our criteria, which is pretty rich because that's exactly what he did. Gooch said on Twitter that he's not gonna try to qualify if he's not exempt because they obviously don't want me to play, which is a little bit like the kid getting frustrated, taking his ball and going home. But I get it, he's frustrated. But these are the times that we're living in. Now, will the US Open be seriously hurt by Taylor Gooch not being there? Probably not. And it should be noted that part of the reason the Live guys got paid so much was to incentivize them enough to risk not playing in future major championships. That was part of